Hey there, everybody. I hope you're doing well. I'm just getting back from a couple weeks of vacation and surprise, surprise, Microsoft released a couple more features uh, all the way to full general availability. So I wanted to use this video this week to talk about um, one of those features, which is the ability to control the meeting options from the meeting itself, like during the heat of the moment in the meeting. If you're familiar with the meeting options, this is where you can change like the lobby settings. So who gets to come in through the lobby, who has to wait in the lobby and be admitted, as well as um, who has presenter rights or attendee rights only. So you can adjust those things before the meeting. You can even do those during the meeting, but you, you would have to go to your calendar and open up the meeting options. Microsoft has now allowed this inside of the meeting with two locations where you can get to it from the meeting window. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna join this meeting right here. I'm gonna hit join now. And I've already got my other account waiting for me over here on the side. So I'm in this meeting, there's just the two of us right here with the third person in there. Now, say that I start getting a lot of disruptions or um, somebody thinks it's funny to you know, take the screen away from the presenter or something like that. And I, there's like 80 people in the meeting and I, I don't really have the time or the patience to figure out who's doing it kick them out or scold them. So it obviously I have just forgotten to set the permissions properly in this meeting. So previously what I'd have to do is I'd have to get out of this window, I'd have to minimize it, then go into the meeting, and then I could click meeting options and get to it from there. Now with this new update, as the organizer in the meeting window, I can click participants right here, and I can bring up the little dot, dot, dot menu, and I can hit manage permissions. This does the same thing as what that other button did, which is it will open up in Chrome or Edge. I have Microsoft Edge here. It will open up those settings for me right away. So if I'm having a bunch of disruptions and say I want to say, all right, the only people who can present is specific people or I'm the only one as the organizer who can present, then I'll just go here, hit only me. And as soon as I hit save, if I bring the other person over here, you see that banner came up for everybody saying, all right, you're now an attendee. And if I go back to the meeting window, now the Megan is the presenter, John is an attendee. So during the course of the meeting, it just split everybody apart into their proper roles. I didn't have to go do it manually by clicking on each person and making them an attendee. I just did it like in the meeting options and they applied live. That's one place where you can get this. Another one is, um, Say that you don't have this open, so you don't have any of those like side panes open or anything like that. You can now also click in more actions and hit meeting options right here. That will do the exact same thing, but it won't even open up in a new browser window. So probably, I, I think this would be the easiest way to do it, would be to click for more actions into meeting options, because now I can adjust this stuff like without even opening up a second window. So like say if I want to, you know, yeah, the, the guy, he can't he can't take over the screen, but he keeps unmuting himself and being annoying. Well, at the bottom, I have this new option and meeting options. So I can say, allow attendees to unmute. I want to turn that off and hit save. And then now I got a banner on the other side that says, your mic has been disabled. Raise your hand if you would like to speak. So now if that person has something to say, you can also see that the microphone has like a little like no smoking sign through it. Um, now if the person wants to unmute themselves, they can't. What they have to do is they have to raise their hand. Over on this side, under the participants, if I can see that John's uh, microphone is disabled, it's grayed out right there with a the little, uh, the little like no sign. And I can't ask that person to unmute themselves unless they raise their hand. So over here, if the student says, I have a question, they raise their hand, the organizer now sees that John has his hand raised, they get a notification up here, notification on the gallery view, as well as in the participants pane. And now, if I click on that person, I can allow them to unmute. If I click on that, it doesn't unmute the person. What it does is it enables that button so they can unmute themselves. So I can say, hey John, you know, go ahead and unmute yourself and ask your question then he could unmute himself and ask his question. Um, then if I go back here, you know, to, to make it so they can't unmute themselves again, I would click on them again here. Oh, that's a great question, thanks for asking. 
don't allow to unmute, and then now I've taken that privilege away. So you can do it for everybody at once, and then onesie, twosie, you can allow somebody to unmute, get their question in, and then lock them back down. So I hope that that um, helps with uh, with you know gaining control over your meeting if it starts to go off the rails and. You know, a lot of times we we maybe start to like panic a little bit and you, you might slip your mind that like, oh, I have these meeting options. I could go back to my calendar. I could open up the browser and I could, you know, squash everybody at once. Well, now you don't have to go hunt for that um, while chaos is, is reigning supreme. You can just click more options, hit meeting options, and you can get control of your meeting right there. So I hope that helps you out, especially you guys in uh, education who are um, dealing with you know disruptions and things in your classroom. Uh, if you have any other questions about this or just general lockdown topics for your meeting, like how to end the meeting, how to kick people out of the chat, things like that, let me know in the comments below and that'll give me more ideas for future Teams Tip videos. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you next week.